Next year's project begins where Leaf House, the university's 2007 entry and second place winner, left off. It was really about celebrating you know, living systems as a component, an integrated component of a house. So we really started trying to think about how we could expand on that. Expanding means more than just solar power. Tilly and the team are looking to make the house an ecosystem of its own. We have different components of living systems, the green roof, a green wall, constructed wetland, and an edible garden that all are <coughs> there to show how you can use water and store water on the landscape. The competition used to be about creating energy on site, but Tilly says it's evolved into something else. We thought of water as something that would be really uh, unique to celebrate as part of a, in combination with solar energy. And that's exactly where the name for this project comes from. Watershed will be an 800 square foot house with one bedroom, one bath, a living room and a kitchen along with its green roof and green wall that you can eat from. Senior Ali El Aswadi has been involved with the decathlon since 2007. It seems very logical to use, uh, to be sustainable and try to um, just reduce your impact on the planet. And what's their strategy to win? The trick is, I think, to involve people from all over. And we have really done that with architecture, all types of engineers, uh, living system component we have with the environmental science, agriculture. So that, I think, will surely help us, give us the edge. I think by you know, hard work and, and having top-notch students and, and faculty working on it, we think we'll have a, a winning house. In College Park, I'm Shawnee Yee, reporting for CNS-TV.